Okay, welcome to another Doc B Theory video. I'm in Tonal Harmony by McGraw Hill. I'm on McGraw Hill Connect. I'm on page 259 in the textbook, page 151 on McGraw Hill Connect, talking about secondary dominance. And I wanted to go over the two interactive drills 16.1. Notate secondary dominance on the staff, and then I'll make another video, 16.1, identify secondary dominance. Okay, so first, I'm going to write out my musical alphabet in two octaves. And I am going to draw my seventh chord inversion symbols to help me out six five for first inversion four three for second inversion and four two for third inversion and just a little bit of warning on this interactive drill it is in your best interest to play the example to hear what register you're in if you enter the notes in the wrong register it will mark them wrong even though you're right you're clicking the right answers it's not in the ant in the register that they've chosen so they will mark you wrong so we'll listen to that here in a second okay so we are in e minor they want the five four two of seven so we are first going to figure out our seven so if we're in the key of E minor, rather than counting up seven, I'm going to count down one to get seven. It's going to be some kind of a D. In this case, it's going to be D sharp. So that is my new one, two, three, four, five. The root of my dominant here should be A. So I'm going to go ahead and put A here. C sharp here, B here, and G here. I'm going to play this chord just so I can hear what the register is. Okay, and because they want the 4 2, that means we're going to have. G on the bottom. There's my G. We're going to have A next. We're going to have C sharp next. And E. And there's our chord, 542 of 7. Let's do another one. Okay, we are in the key of E minor. They want the five of five. So if E is one, my five is going to be B. And the five of B be some kind of an F. In this case, it's going to be F sharp. So F sharp is my root. A sharp is my third. And C sharp is my fifth. It is not a seventh chord. It is just a triad. Let me hear the example so I know what register to do this in. That one wasn't so bad. Let's do another one. Okay, in this example, they want a 5, 4, 3 of 6. We're in the key of A minor. So if A is my 1, 
F, some kind of F is going to be my 6. And the 5 of F is going to be C. So my notes are going to be C, E, G, and B. I'm going to listen to my notes to see what register to put them in. All right, we are in a minor key. I've forgotten my B flat because F has one flat B flat. So my notes are going to be C, E, G, B flat. For three, I'm going to start on G. Next will be my B flat, C, and E. Well, let's do another one. Okay, I'm in G major, and they want the 5 of 5 for G major, the 5, 7 of 5. So G is 1, D is 5. I'm going to drop that an octave. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is going to be A. A, C sharp. E and G. Remember, you're going to follow the key signature for whatever this new key is. All right, I'm in root position, so I just have to put the notes up. too bad. Let's do another one. Okay, I'm in the key of E major. They want the 5, 4, 2 of 4. So what is 4 in the key of E major? If E is 1, F, is, F sharp is going to be 2, G sharp is going to be 3, A is going to be 4. The 5 of A is going to be E. Okay, E is my root. G sharp is going to be my third. B is going to be my fifth. And D is going to be my seventh. Okay, they want a 4-2, which means my D is going to be my root. Now, again, I listened to my notes, which put my D right here. Now, if I were to try to put my D here, this interactive drill will mark it wrong, even though it's right. All right, maybe a couple more. Okay, we're in C-sharp minor, and they want the 5, 6, 5 of 6. So if C-sharp is 1, we're going to have some kind of an A for our 6. And if A is my 1, we're going to have some kind of an E. 
for my five. Okay, so on this example in C sharp minor, either way, if we're in harmonic or natural, we're going to have an A for scale degree six. So if that's the case, we're going to have an E for our dominant. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in my notes E, G sharp. B and D. They want a 6-5, which means my G sharp is going to be on the bottom. Let me listen to what register they want us to write this in. All right, so we're right here. natural because of the key signature. Good. Let's do one more. We're in the key of G minor and they want the five four three of three. So if G is one, A is gonna be two, B flat is gonna be three. So B flat is our new one, two, three, four, five. F is going to be my root, F, A, C, and we're going to have an E flat. All right, they want a four three, which means C should be my root. There's my C, there's my E flat, there's my F, there's my A. Notice we do not have an accidental there. Okay, here we are. We are in the key of E major, and they would like be five seven five six five of three so if e is one f sharp will be two and g sharp will be three so one two three four five okay so d sharp is my root F double sharp is my third. Nasty. A sharp is my fifth. C sharp is going to be my seventh. And we are in six five. 
and we are in 6-5, so we are going to put our F double sharp on the bottom. Our A sharp was our third. Our C sharp is our fifth. And our D sharp is our seventh. So hopefully you see how to construct your secondary dominance. Hopefully this interactive drill has helped you. Go ahead and like and subscribe and stay tuned for a new video soon. Thank you.